<laughs> hi, hi, hi. I'm live. Hello, hello. Sorry, a few minutes late. I forgot to switch it over to my new hardware that I'm still trying to um, sort out Logitech. So far, so good. This time it was just totally user error. So, okay, I'm just going live from my chit chat. I um, only gave like 15 minutes notice. I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to chit chat, get some socializing in. And I thought, well, I'll go over what's sold this week so far. And then um, Monday I'll do what's sold, you know, tomorrow and over the weekend. So for my size store, I've had some good sales pretty good sales. Um, you know what though? A lot of the, a lot of places, the thrift stores are opening back up, right? And people are going thrifting and oh my gosh, I'm watching all these thrift with me videos. I'm like, oh, I want to go so bad. My thrift stores did open up, but I just, you know, I mentioned, I just don't feel ready to go yet. So I haven't. Um, but I think I think tomorrow I've got to run around town to film something for Fat Bird Finds. And hi, Char. Char, how do you say your name? Char? <laughs> Not sure. Char. Um, anyways, I'm going to be filming like not socializing, but filming some highlights and tourist attractions of my town for Fat Bird Finds channel. Um, those girls, Laura and Mary Beth, put out a collab notice to uh, for those of us that are still in lockdown or stay home or just voluntarily or, or whatever, you know, to, Hey, you can at least go out and get some fresh air, some sunshine and like, you know, sh show off some of your cool things in your city. So it's tomorrow's Friday. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. And if they're Christina Aguilera resale gal, hi, it's short for Charlotte. So Char soft Char. Okay. Um, so while I'm out, it's Friday. If there are any early garage sales, I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to take my mask and my alcohol spray and my gloves. And if I see any thrift store, I mean, um, garage sales or yard sales that don't look too overrun and they're wearing masks themselves, I'm going to go because I want to go buy some stuff. Okay. So I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to go ahead and do screen share for what sold this week. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> I've been laying a little low because if you watch my Instagram stories, I hope you're following me on Instagram. If you're not, and if you are on Instagram and then let me know who you are, if you use a different name. Okay. So I can follow back, please. Anyways. Um, so if you watch my stories, I talked about I'm a licensed esthetician as well. And I got out some of my um, professional equipment and some of my home um, products and I did some, you know, some hair removal and some little zapping of like sunspots and things and a couple on my arm. And so, you know, that leaves you red for a few days. So I just didn't really want to, you know, didn't really want to film. But anyways, it's clearing up pretty well, just a few little signs. So it took about three and a half days to start to, they kind of dry up and then they'll flake off. So you don't want to make them come off ahead of time, but pretty well. I'm happy with it. And then I said, does anybody want to see like some of my equipment is professional. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Some of my equipment is professional. Yes. You have to have a license to use it or use it on someone else. Let's say sometimes to buy it unless you buy it secondhand, but I have some very affordable like home copies that they're cheaper and they're more affordable because they're not made to, to last like through I don't know, 100,000 uses like you would if you use them for clients in a salon, right? But they're going to last, if you're just using it for yourself, they're going to last you just fine. So I've got some really cool things. You know, I'm older, so I take care of myself. Hi, Jump Girl Patty. I take care of myself the best as I can to, and to save money, right? I want everything on the cheap. So let me know in the comments of this video later because I can't always keep an eye on the chat. Um... And I want to see how much interest there would be for that video. When I was on YouTube previously, I took kind of a year off. And I think I some of my subscribers don't know that I'm back. But I talked about maybe showing something like that. And there was a lot of response. And then I didn't do it. I kind of disappeared for a while. And I was just on other people's shows and panels for a while. And I wasn't putting any content on my own channel. 
Anyways, if there's enough interest for that kind of way of saving money, I will certainly do that because you would be surprised how affordable some of these unique items are that will help you for like anti-aging and skin treatments, okay? So bear with me and let me remember how I want to go to source two. I'm, I'm trying the Logitech... Um, the logic capter that comes with Logitech. So let me go to source two. I'll be back in a minute. Hang on. I'll be back and pull up this. It should come in just a minute. Hang on. Bear with me while I remember how to do this. It's a little different with each kind of software that you use. Okay. I think we got it. And now let's do a split screen. Yeah, I did it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Now I messed it up again somehow. How did I do that? Let's get it back. Pfft. Yvonne, you had it. There we go. I'm back. Okay, so let's... Um, I need to move you guys around so I can see the chat. So hang on. Let me get you to where I can see the chat. Hang on, Creative Uniques. I see you have a circle light. I was thinking about this ring light, this one here. Um, thinking about buying one, you aren't using it. Um, Creative Uniques, I use this for when I'm taking uh, photos. So for filming YouTube, I just use a little tiny one, this one. Just a little tiny one. It's like $14. I showed it the last time we went live because someone asked a similar question. But yeah, I like the ring lights better than the box lights because they're just more compact and they do produce more light. Can I tell you something real quick? Wait a minute. Let me get... Okay, I want to tell you something. If, if you're looking for a ring light, will you do me a favor? Get, get It might cost you a little bit more, but not too much more. Get the ones that are LED. Don't get fluorescent, okay? Because you break that fluorescent ring, that's as much as buying a new ring light. Get LED and um, get one that has two knobs. One for like light, like darkness, you know, like a dimmer to bright. And then the other one for um, color, you know, like soft to the bright white, okay? Because some of them will just, you don't have that option and they just give you like this plastic thing to put over it. I mean, you might save a few bucks, but it's really nice to be able to have that range from, you know, the soft white, orangey, whatever, to the bright white, bluish tint. It's really nice to have that range, okay? And um, I'll show you on this one, okay? Hang on, you guys, I'll show you on this one. And then when you buy one of these, also get one, the same thing that has a, oh, it won't reach, but it has a dimmer switch, okay? It has a dimmer switch and it has, um, I'll show you. Okay, there's the bright white, right? See the color differences? And then you can also do, you know, real bright. And then you can also turn it down, right? So like just for filming me, I just need something enhance with the computer screen and to kind of balance it out. So I just keep it kind of low just to kind of help balance out. Let me get it the way I want it again. Um, anyways, those are about $14. Okay. So those are real handy. And you know what else those are good for? Um, for, for, for photographing. Thank you for photographing small items. And you know, cause sometimes the ring light will be the big one will be like overkill. And also, oh my gosh, this is another trick they do. When you get a ring light, make sure it comes with the stand. Even though it's pictured with the stand, do not take it for granted, especially from the overseas sellers, okay? Make sure it comes with the stand. It should be a collapsible stand so everything fits in this nice little carry bag, okay? It's super cool. Hi, Noel. How you doing, girl? Happy late birthday again. Okay, yeah. So because when I did this a few years ago, I really researched and research and research, and the prices have come down a lot. I mean, I paid like 80 bucks for my big ring light. They're not, they're way cheaper than that now. And then get a little one too, because you'll save money on your electric bill when you're just doing smaller items in your little light box or whatever. 
Um, if you just need to take it outside for fill flash, if you like to shoot outside, sometimes these little handy ones, these little tiny ones are good for just like fill flash. If you, if you know photography and know what I mean. Okay. So where were we? We'll go back to, um, let me adjust this the way I, I want it. We'll go back to there. Otherwise it washes me out. Okay. We'll go back to what sold real quick. Okay. And then we'll chat because I, Wait a minute, I have a camcorder that's actually thinking I could hang it from the ceiling. Mm, camcorder. Is it one of the older ones? Okay, let me do sold because some people only like to see what sold. They want the money. Show me the money. And then we'll be back and we'll chit chat because I need some chit chat time, people. Hello. <laughs> I need some chit chat time. Okay. So we're going to look at Mile High Steam, my main store. We're going to do what we usually do and look at it through hashtag deals. I sure hope you guys are seeing this. Is this right, you guys? Please tell me. Is this right? You should see my eBay store and then like one third me. Okay. I hope it's right. You guys stop me if I'm wrong. So. Let's go to, looks good. Thank you, Char. So this is um, hashtag deal. It's got like 18 items left in it. Some of you have been following me. You know what the deal is with this. So I started it and decided not to. If they ever would make it to where you could toggle back and forth on your eBay stores, that would be awesome. But they don't do that. So and it was just a hassle with the separate paperwork and like, did, where did I sell something? So I'm just like, I'm just going to keep everything on mile high scene. Eventually this stuff will sell out or um, I'll move it over. I think I sold something, what, two weeks ago off of it by surprise. So, <clears throat> okay. So let's see. This is a seller hub. Da, 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 da. I already signed up for managed payments on both accounts. Might as well do that. Just get it done. We, It's just going to happen. So just do it. It's real easy. They just want some of your banking information so they know where to put your money. Okay. All right. So saved sellers. Me and Lindy only. But again, on my main store, I follow a lot of you guys. I follow a lot of people. Okay. So um, if I was to open this up, you, I follow the max. As a matter of fact, when somebody cool new that I want to follow, I have to literally go through and be like, okay, who, who am I over or who's not really doing much lately and get someone off just so I can add someone new cool that I want to watch for a while. So some reviews that I did. I just try to use all the little bells and whistles that eBay gives us. I don't know, just to make them happy so that maybe they love me more, right? <laughs> so anyways, items for sale. Mile High Steed, my main store, items for sale go down to sold. So I'm down to about 400 listings, which I usually keep somewhere, if you're new, I usually keep somewhere around 300, max at five lately, because I'm just part-time. I don't want to be overwhelmed and I don't want to hire help. So let's start where we left off last week. I think we left off at this at this um, base. Okay, all this expensive stuff too that I sold, like that $120, okay, like this thing, I haven't heard anything, it's been delivered for over a week. This $120 thing, it's been over a week. I haven't, I haven't heard anything, so nothing broke, yay. <laughs> so we left off last week at this. All right, so. Um, a little tiny, it's about this big, just a tile with famous quilting patterns on it. I just took a chance. This is really out of my wheelhouse. They were super cheap. There were three of them and they were a thing. And I know, you know, just like any other culture, you know, subculture or culture group, you know, um, hobby, whatever, you know, they have all their swag that they like. So, you know, Quilters have their swag they like. So I finally sold one of those. I got them all up for like $14. They're just real little tiles. That's all. And But they're a thing. And um, finally sold the Tommy Bahama. There are still a few Tommy Bahamas that, you know, of course, vintage will do well. And then there are certain newer shirts. And this is one of them, the Garden of Courage. Really nice silk screen and embroidery. Those are still getting around fifty to sixty dollars. Okay, so yay for that. Okay, about this big, 
a little closeted parrot trivet box, trinket box, trinket. So it opened up, it's at its neck and it had a metallic clasp and there's just a little, you know, little space in there to put whatever. So I tend to buy those and they eventually sell when, when someone sees, you know, the theme that they collect, the animal that they love or the topic. Um, copped some vintage Versace. These were super vintage, probably 90s. And they, they had, did have the little Medusa studs, that part of that logo. They were high waist. So I think what made these sellable, in my opinion, is because right now, I don't know why they're calling it mom jeans. I just think that's kind of tacky. But anyways, the higher waisted and the kind of pencil leg um, is in style again for those that are that like doing the fashion forward um, recycled look. And so those sold for, I took an offer of 42. They didn't cost me very much at all. So some vintage Versace. I never find the like current real designer high end, but I'll take the vintage too. I've sold vintage t-shirts, Versace t-shirts for like, oh my goodness. And you can find them for like 30, 40, $50. So I'll just, I'll, Take what I can get. A nice vintage Hawaiian maxi dress. This was not um, this was not bark cloth. It was a little bit softer. It was mostly cotton, really tiered and beautiful. Let's open this up because you know if you're not into clothing and definitely am I getting this? Yes, and definitely not into vintage. I hope this is coming across. You know, this kind of stuff, you'd be like, oh, I don't know what that is. But see the nice ruffles. And even though it wasn't bark cloth, but it was a nice fabric. But here's what I want to show you. This is a good name. This is actually made in Hawaii. So um, I hope I'm screen sharing right this time that I opened a new window. So you want to look for the dresses that are actually made in Hawaii because they'll do a lot better. And some bark cloth will do well, too, like on camp shirts, Hawaiian and camp shirts. Um, that bark cloth will do well. Even scraps of bark cloth, okay? Even scraps of bark cloth you can sell. Bark cloth. I don't know why my mouth is so dry and it's affecting my speech today. I don't know. We are having summer-like weather, finally. Um, I always take a peek at magazines. Just a quick peek. You know, don't buy the Oprah Winfrey ones or anything like that. I mean, you can if you want to, but I look for the more unique things and more, you know, counterculture or subculture oriented. These are skater. So I bought a bunch of them and I kind of lotted them into different pack lots. And this was the last one. So they usually cost anywhere from a quarter to a dollar. Right. So um, any. So when you do something like that, you want to go through and pull out anything that has the most epic um, celebrity that's still trending, that's still relevant. You want to pull those out, cherry pick it, you know what I mean? And then, you know, and then make your lot bundles kind of in an interesting way. So here I did 12, 13, 14. And I think there were a couple, there were two issues from one of the years. So, and I sent media mail, so super cheap. So uh, I don't know why it says $7.95 shipping. Maybe Hannah listed that for me, but I sent those media mail, so they went for like $4. Okay, these are blinged out. Uh, <laughs> okay, Noel, I'll help you. These are blinged out, and I know that trend is, this particular trend is kind of, you know, we need to take it easy, but Vocal is still a good name. Let me see if I can find a tag for you. These were all studded and blinged out. There it is. Vocal is still a good name on that because it's made in USA. Okay. So, and the Western girls are still buying the kind of blinged out, you know, stuff. Like the Miss Me. They're still buying the bling Miss Me in the Western stores, even though places like the non-Western, forgive the way I'm saying things, like the buckle, like what Miss Me makes exclusively for the buckle, they're kind of leaning more toward a like hippie patchwork and embroidery over the heavy bling, you know, that Miss Me and Rock Revival was doing. Rock Revival's kind of leaning that way too. They're still doing a lot of bling though, especially for the men. But anyways, 
there's still a market for this, but it just seems to be the better labels, okay, of this crazy bling stuff. So there you go. So that's why $28 for those. I don't know if it was $28 or if I took an offer. Oh, what did I do? Let me get that back, darn it. Hang on, let me grab that back, you guys. Ooh, that makes me mad. I got to get used to the differences. Sorry, forgive me. I have to get used to the differences between um, StreamYard, Logic Capture, because <laughs> each one does things a little bit different. So let me get back to where we were. Ah, sorry. I hope you guys are being patient with me. I appreciate it. Remember, I haven't really been going out much, so... Hmm. Okay, where were we? We were right here at the, we got it. We're back. Okay, let me just double check. Yes, we're good. Okay. Um, a vintage ashtray. I took a little less for that. Okay, looks like I took less for that too. Anytime you see the strikeout, of course, that means the best offer was accepted. But um, these vintage ashtrays are still selling, even though smoking is down because people are using them for other things, right? If we're selling vintage, we know this. And then lately, I've heard that some people are really doing it. These vintage ashtrays, they're treating them like the plates. They're like making wall displays instead of like collector plates. They're using like cool vintage ashtrays. I think that's great. So this one I did Hollywood, Hollywood Regency. Whenever you see something vintage, it's kind of go, like got a lot of gold on it. You might be able to, you know, lean it toward Hollywood Regency, those kind of um, keywords to help it sell. These things don't cost much at the thrift store. They really don't. Um, some of my clothing blowout, still selling these. This is a box full hangover from my flea market days in the mid nineties. Oh my gosh. So uh, they might've even only cost like 50 cents at the time because we bought big boxes full bulk. And plus that was so long ago, those have paid for themselves, but I found a big box. And so I listed them and little by little they've been selling. So I think for this month, that's the third or fourth one. Just slip it in an envelope real quick. Easy breezy. I thought this was pretty and it says good luck. Let me open this up. But they're tempting, but they don't sell for much. Okay. So be careful. Only if it's real cheap and you don't mind, you know, you don't mind. But they're cute. It has the horse on it and a horseshoe. So I'm like, I like the theme stuff. But I wish those were worth a little more. I don't even remember who does those. Okay, don't close it. Gotcha. This just went out. These kind of glasses, this is a George's Briard. I want to open it up because I want to go to a carousel so we can look at other things, okay? That just went out. It's going to New York. Very vintage. His stuff does really well. Um I mean, it's not super high end, but it does well for, let's find some carousels. Here we go. Mm -mm, I want to make sure. So you can see this kind of, what is that? 50s, 60s? Yeah. So you can see some of it does better than others, but it's going to be like glassware and trays and just really unique stuff. Some of it will be more like Hollywood Regency like, and some of it's going to be like mod, like Andy Warhol mod. Let's see if we can find anything else. Anyways, there's a name for you, okay? Let's see if these carousels will expand. I wanted to see some of the trays. Because some of them, certain patterns go really well. Okay, just there's a name. If you're wanting to learn vintage with me, I've been, you know, I added it about a year ago. Like, there's some mod. See, look at that. That does well. There's some mod look. He does trays and other things, okay? The name is usually on it. And I'll show you on my listing because we'll see it bigger there. Okay. So there's the signature. Okay. So I buy them if they're, if the graphics are still good or if it's a good theme, you know, or if it's a good Hollywood Regency. Okay. So there's a name that you can write down to think about. If you're wanting to expand your knowledge on vintage items like I am this. So this just sold today. These two. Um, Peter Pan sheets, twin set, um, vintage, definitely. So I don't know. I love the linen department, 
those might have cost me. Oh, wait a minute. I remember because I just shipped them and I took the tag off. I keep the Goodwill tags or thrift store tags. I tape them on the package so that when I have to do my end of year inventory for what didn't sell, I can remember what things cost. Those They were $2.99 for the set. So $28. That's good. Easy breezy slip in a bag, right? Um, they are kind of heavy as a set, so they could not go first class. So that's why the shipping. They cost me about $8.25 shipping. So the rest helps cover um, the final value fees because we are charged final value fees on shipping as well, right? And then these tapestries, only if I'm not going to buy just a floral one. They're real, you know, unless it's a higher end one. But those little cheap ones, you know, if they're a good theme and cheap enough, yeah, those will flip. Um, I did a railroad one. It was a railroad theme. I think I got, what, 80 or $90 for that one. That was a couple months ago. And so, you know, if it's a good theme, this was a Star Wars episode one. It wasn't even in great condition, but because it was, you know, a Star Wars, I bought it. And so I got $28 for it. A little heavy. So I think shipping on that was like eight, eight something. So that gave me a little wiggle room for my supplies. All right, you guys, I haven't listed anything new yet besides the glasses. I'm going to start on the jewelry. Let's back out of here. I'm going to leave eBay open in case somebody has a question because we can go look and find the answer. I'm not, I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to drop it down in case we need it. So let me get back to be there. Okay. There we go. So let me look at the chat. Hi. Whew, sorry. Let me look at the chat. No, because I want to chat. I want to talk. Hi, Nathaniel. You popped in. Just been chatting, doing souls, getting my fill of socializing. Okay. Let me scroll up. Okay. I remember I said hi to Dawn and we talked about the how to pick a good um, ring light. Now I might can show you better. Now I might can show you. Let me get this around. Okay, see the two knobs. It's not just a plastic cap that you put over, like these two knobs, you know. Let's see if it's plugged in. I'm going to plug. Are you still here, um, Creative Unique? Are you still here? I'll plug it in and show you if you are. Is she still here? I don't know. I'm going to plug it in now. I'm going to show other people liked the info too. So I don't know what's going to happen when this comes on. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. So see, yeehaw, you can dim it. Oh, and you can change the color. Okay. That's horrid. I'm turning that back off. <laughs> and the stand all collapses this all telescopes down it'll go pretty high like over six feet telescope up and it'll also shrink down it'll you can take this off and put everything in a carrying case at least the one i bought came with its own carrying case you know if you're a photographer that's going to do things someplace else anyways that's the kind i recommend and then the little ones and then the little ones just at least one little one okay so we're worried can't see the split. Oh, I took the split screen off. I was done. You guys good? Or are you saying the last bit that I showed you just didn't go right? Okay. Anyways, I know I'm still learning this, this software. I want to do, I want to use it though, because like, let me show you some of these settings. Like, look, I can change color of your name. You can put anything you want in that corner and um, different fonts and what else? Oh, like these frames. I like this stuff. Change the color. You can make it even bigger. <laughs> so I just like it. And I'll show you other things. It has filters. Some of them are whacked. There's a black and white filter if you want to do something kind of old school. Oh, well, you guys can go look at my soul. Do you know my store, Mile High Scene? So anyways, here's some more crazy filters. This is negative. 
ah, fishbowl. Who wants that? These cameras already give us that fishbowl face, which makes our nose look bigger and like this. They already do that anyways. Anyways, I just use the non-filter. I'm just saying there's a lot of things you can do with this that I just really like. And you can also record and they have some transitions and things like that. So if you can't afford a better software, this one's free if you use Logitech camera. Anyways, where were we? Oh, I don't want that red. Hang on. I'm going to go. It's what sold. So today I'm doing green. Okay. Let's go back up. I want to chat before I go. Oh, okay. So you have two. Thank you. Okay. I see. We did that. We did that. Um, okay, Creative Unique, when this is over, give me a little bit of time because I've got to do some cleanup on this. I'll grab something to eat and then I'll come back and drop. I'll have to go research and see who's got these for the best price on eBay. Okay, I'm eBay first. I don't like to promote Amazon. I do eBay first because that's where I make most of my money. So give me a couple hours. Come back and look in the comments of this video when it goes up and done processing and um hopefully i'll have found the best deal for you okay okay what else um good tip yvonne hi cindy rosen i have a camcorder yeah i'm not sure i'm not i'm not the camcorder from the ceiling thing i'm not really sure <laughs> depends on what kind of camcorder <laughs> um for my camera you can't see it well i'll show you hang on i'm gonna turn you guys around See, I have this arm. It wasn't very much. It's just attached. See that? And all this bends. Like, it all bends, right? See? <laughs> this is my big screen. So, my computer's right here. And there's the big screen. And so, I could put this. I don't want to move it too much because it takes a while to get it right. And then I've got the snowball, an external mic. This camera, Logitech, does have microphone. But I'll tell you guys why I don't like to use it, even though this is a high-end camera. Higher-end camera, not the highest. The reason I don't like to use it is because um, when it, like, if I, I, I talk with my hands. What is that called? Stational talker or whatever? I don't know. I talk with my hands. And so the camera has autofocus. And you'll hear the, the speakers and the mics are just on the side. And so you'll hear this whirring sound, like, from the internal like focusing things so you can actually hear it and it's high carry and it's just not as good um of sound quality so i'd like to have a yeti but quite frankly this blue snowball does pretty well you guys and it's a lot they're a lot cheaper than the yeti and and so some of us use the snowball they're a lot, i got that one second hand who crossed my fingers that he wasn't a liar but you know we have buyer protection with ebay but that snowball I got secondhand off of eBay for like, I don't know, about 30 bucks. So, and there's a new generation of Logitech, two more generations beyond this 920C that most of us were using. You know, that was, that was all the rage years ago. So, um, you know, I bought one, but now there's a couple generations more. So actually the C, the 920Cs are still great. And so you can see the picture quality is not that bad. And so you can pick those up a lot cheaper. When I bought mine, it was like, I think I used a coupon code. So I got it for like $60 or $80. But now you can pick up one of these from people who have upgraded pretty cheap. Okay, like I'm, I want a GoPro, right? Well, there's new generations out. Well, to me, to me, the extras that you get between generations isn't really doesn't really warrant the extra cost. I'll be happy with just a, another generation. So someone that's going to upgrade, I'm going to buy their other GoPro, you know, kind of like, kind of like the way we treat phones, you know, like I've got the iPhone X, right? Well, there's already another generation out. The camera's a little better, but this camera is still awesome. So it doesn't warrant me spending the money again like this one's still fine i'll wait a couple more generations right i mean i'm just chit-chatting 90 miles an hour hang on Whew. yes all right <laughs> nathaniel high tech you know i just when i first started out i had a really cheap really bad 
camcorder that I bought secondhand from the thrift store for like $3. I used a lighted makeup mirror from the thrift store for my light. I gave that tip last video. One of those lighted makeup mirrors will do just fine too to set in front of you for filming on YouTube. And you can pick those up at the thrift store so cheap. Um, but now with this little tiny ring light, you should do that anyways. I mean, $15 and you use it for your photography too. That's a no brainer. But if you see a makeup mirror for like two or $3, you could do that for, for, um, YouTube lives. Don't like go to Ross and pay $20, use that $20 to get one of these small ring lights. Right. Okay. Where was I? Okay. I want to chat here. See what else. Cause no, Noel was saying something. Um, you guys, Noelle's birthday was last week, just so you know. She's not one to tell everybody. I only found out because I was on Facebook and I follow, you know, we're for Facebook friends too, of course. And it said, hey, it's Noelle's birthday. <laughs> so, all right, I need to get my registration done for managed payments. It's just, um, Noel, they just want our banking information. That's all. It was. It took like two minutes, routing number and a bank account. So it was no big deal. Let's see. I had a whole box of them anywhere that I know you already are aware of this, but I need help. Yeah, you're probably, yeah, I know. You're not a girly girl. So yeah, um, you probably do not love listing clothing. <laughs> We could do a live hangout sometime and show me what you have or do it live like this and let a bunch of us come in and, and help you with keywords and possible pricing. Okay. Yvonne, you're so okay. And Costco, I know Costco did that, but you know what? I heard that from bearded picker and um, Costco did. And then also on their own website, they did. And I was trying to weigh whose package was better. And then I just decided I'm just going to wait and buy, like I said, someone's used that is already upgrading for themselves. I'm going to do that instead. Okay. I didn't get this camera back right, did I? So I got my eBay swag shirt on. Mm -hmm. I got lots of eBay swag. I'm going to eBay open from being a um, seller diversity advocate for this is my last year. It's probably over here any month now. I don't even know if they're still doing much, you know, because everything's kind of shut down. But anyways, bearded prints. Can you eBay these nuts? Um, somebody, can you, oh, I can do it. eBay bearded. Um, we're going to put him in. I'm not, some people just have a weird sense of humor. So I'm giving them benefit of the doubt. We're going to put him in timeout, but if he says something else stupid, he can go, any of you mods, he can go. Okay. I don't like that kind of talk, especially because um, YouTube's really sensitive to what the advertisers want. And, you know, so I don't, like when I moderate Lindy's chat, sometimes people get mad at me because somebody will come in and say something in a foreign language and I can't figure it out. If I can't figure it out real quick with a quick Google to the side, you know, if it's causing me to miss the rest of this, the chat watching it, I'll just remove it. I might not remove the person yet, but I will move the comment because for all I know, it could say something really horrible. It could be hate speech and that will cause Lindy, any of us problems for monetization. That's not cool. All right. I have two whole closets full of... Ugh. Oh, vintage men's suits. Oh, gosh, you know, Ronnie's your guy for that. I'm still, I'll help you, though. I will, because I'll learn something, too, I guess. But, oh, my gosh, men's is just, you know, I'm, I watch Ronnie Hearts Pickers to learn about men's stuff, quite frankly. I'm better at the girls, but I do mess with some men's stuff, mostly the retro streetwear, because that's what's super hot right now. Like the retro t-shirts, you know, kind of like what Round 2 is famous for, and like what Paul Cantu does, right? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you you understand what I'm talking about, Noel. Yeah, you just, because eBay's not playing with this no more. Yeah, Ronnie, Ronnie Hart, mm -hmm, definitely. Okay. Does anybody want to talk about anything? I left my eBay open because if anybody has a question, we'll go pull it up and we'll go get the answer. Okay. That's what I like to do. We'll go get the answer. 
when you can buy it for pennies, it's hard not to pick up. I know. Right? Exactly. Um, well, like I was saying in the beginning when I was just chit-chatting pretty much to myself, uh, I think Char came in and might have heard me. I um, Tomorrow I'm going to go around town and shoot some footage um, by myself in my car for Fat Bird Finds collab that they put out collab invite open invite for anybody of just like you know show us stuff in your hometown since you know some of us still aren't going out doing things and things like that so i'm gonna go show some cool icons and just get some footage and so it's friday if while i'm out if i see a garage sale or a yard sale where people it's not overrun and people are wearing their mask i'm going for it i am so Every, people are going thrifting. And I i mean, even though my thrift stores opened up like two weeks ago, one of them has already, one of the Goodwills has already had to shut down because four workers got sick. And that's the last time my husband reported. It could be more. First it was three, then it was four. So they've already had to shut one back down. The thrift stores here are super packed. So I'm just not willing to risk, risk it for myself or anyone else. So I'm not going to them yet. It's been two weeks. They're open. I'm free to go, but I just don't want to. It's not worth the risk. And so, um, but if I see a yard sale and that looks safe, I am going <laughs> because, oh my gosh, it's been like, what, three and a half, almost four months for me. So I'm doing well with my stockpiles. Yeah, great. Um, the jewelry unboxing that I did, actually that video is doing well too. That video is doing above average for me, at my channel size. I'm still growing. That's doing above average. So apparently there are a lot of jewelry enthusiasts out there. I can see why the jewelry girls are having so much fun. Um, people like those videos. So I think I'll do, I'll finish that and do part two where I went through all my old jewelry that I've had since like the 80s and 90s, and I never wear it. It's just beautiful. I'm like, okay, I'm, I picked through it, and I threw it in a box too, and I'm like, okay, you know, love it or list it. That's what we're going to do. So I'll go through that, and then I'm going to start listing the jewelry. But I'll tell you what about having jewelry unboxings. I've already sold two pieces it was to Anita Fanita. Hi, thank you. She's so sweet. She saw two pieces that she liked. So she bought the bangle bracelet and then she went over to my store and she saw something she liked. And so she said, well, you throw that in. I gave her an awesome deal because, well, she's Anita Fanita. And, you know, I've been learning. She's one of the girls I've been learning from, you know, and um, plus she has a jewelry Facebook group, if you didn't know that. So does Thelma and so does um so do a lot of the girls. My my friend Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and Thelma Thrift. But she uh, Anita Fanita has one too, and she let me post the video. I've been a member for a long time, and I've never posted. I just lurk and learn. And she let me because you know some Facebook groups the you know that are run by YouTubers too. They won't let you talk about. Hi Amy, they won't let you advertise your. YouTube stuff at all. Um, the reseller society is good about it. They'll let you. And Ch Chad's one of the founders of that. That's probably the oldest and biggest. Well, I don't, I'm not gonna say it's the biggest, but it's a big one and it's the oldest and it has a lot of the OGs in it too, as well as new people. But he was one of the founding founding members of that. And they're very gracious and will let you, but it's kind of hard. Okay. I want to see um, Nathaniel, we are almost back to normal here. And NZ is New Zealand, right? Because I kept thinking you were Australian. New Zealand. Just social distance. Yeah, things are slowly opening up, but I'm not, not everybody's still wearing their mask and things. And it's just too crowded at my thrifts. Like people lo love thrifting here, definitely. And so I'm just going to lay low a little bit longer. Okay. I still have stuff to list, and hopefully I'll see some good um, garage sales tomorrow, right? So that would be cool. So, and if so, I'll do that. My The treatments I did on my face are pretty much healed. Just, just a couple red spots, but I'm pretty happy there. Pretty happy with, what ha with how that went. And so I guess I'm going to see the responses I get in comments from when I started this video. I talked about it. 
And if there's enough interest with the girls or the guys on um, estheticians type stuff that you can get and use yourself at home to save a grip of money. I don't know if any of you go to estheticians, but we are not cheap. <laughs> like when I was actively working, it wasn't cheap, right? And so it's really nice to be able to have some of those services and you'd be surprised how easy you can learn and do them yourself and save a ton of money. But if I see enough interest in the comments in, you know, that are left later, I'll put that on the docket too, to sneak that in. It'll be in a different playlist. It'll be like under thrifty fashionista playlist. Okay. I try to keep things in playlists so people can find what they want because resellers are a funny lot. They only want reselling content, but my channel's opening open to lots of things, thrifters, collectors, resellers. So I try to keep things organized for you so you can just see what you want. Okay. Well, 45 minutes. Wow, really? Time goes by fast. Hi, Sharon. I did give 15-minute notice this time, though, and I threw it on Facebook and Instagram real quick. I just ran through my souls real quick, and we've just been chatting. I just needed some chat time. So if anybody, unless somebody needs help with something, you know, I've still got the eBay open. Thank you, Sharon. Um, and cross your fingers that I see an applicable yard sale or garage sale that I feel comfortable going to. I'm going to take my mask and my hand sanitizer and my gloves and, and maybe I'll get to go buy something cool tomorrow, please. <laughs> um, there should be some early bird garage sales. I looked at, um, Craigslist cause now at Craigslist, I don't know if you know this, you can filter garage sales to a map. You don't have to just go through the listings. You can filter to a map and kind of see. Yvonne, does your husband like the Grateful Dead? Um, I'm sure he's not opposed to it. We're not big deadheads. We like more, but we are classic rock, no doubt. We're this, He and I are the same age. He's like 14 months older than I am. And we definitely like the same kind of classic rock music. Definitely. And we do embrace some of the new stuff. Um, you know, like for instance, something that we share together that we picked up that both of us just liked and kind of new is like kid rock. Like we both love to listen to kid rock, but you know, I'm Led Zeppelin number one and all that era. And, um, and he likes it too. So but I'm sure, you know, great. I mean, there's so many great hits by the Grateful Dead. Even if you're not a deadhead, there's still going to be some of their tunes that you just love and adore because they're just, they get so much airtime. Even to this day, they get airtime. Christina would love anything beauty related. Oh, you're in school for cosmetology and love beauty. Are you taking everything or just hair or what? I did massage. An esthetician. I was scared to death of hair. It would make me cry because, woo, besides skin, us ladies take our hair serious. That gets messed up. There's going to be crying and screaming and hollering going on. I have, oh, your mask. That's right. You're, that's right. You were going to send out some masks, huh? I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. Well, if it has a skull or one of those teddy bear things on it, yeah. <laughs> but he likes some Harley stuff, of course. And then we drive Jaguars. So we like our Panthers and our Jaguar stuff. And um, we just bought a Toyota FJ Land Cruiser, too. So not a Jeep. So we like that kind of stuff. But any kind, anything old rock. Or anything kind of, you know, biker related. You know, he likes that stuff too. Okay. I do it all. Oh, Christina. I, man, I tell young people and, well, older too. Like, if you're not, if you don't want to go to college for like whatever, if you can't figure out what you want to do, before you drop a grip of money and time, Go pick something like Esty or Nails or Barber, because I think Barber's even quicker than, I think bar a Barber, it's a limited hair license, but it's pretty quick. 
um, or esthetician like I did, those trade schools, depending on where you live, you can run through them pretty darn quick. If you need financial aid, you pick one that's accredited and you'll get financial aid. Um, or, you know, you can get loans. And they're usually so quick. And it's the only kind of trade school I know that you can do quick, affordably, and jump right out there and start making good money right back. Like I had my daughter do that first too, before she went to regular college, she wanted to be a dentist. And I'm like, this is going to save you from having to be a waitress or $10 an hour job. Like go do this first. And that way you can work less hours and make good money. So I always am like, yes, do, you know, if you're not sure what path, whatever, do that then. Yeah, well, if you're doing the full thing, yeah, 16, that sounds right, depending on what state you're in. But yeah, that sounds about right. If you're going full time, that takes you over a year, I believe. If you're part time, a little longer. But it's a good idea. So it's good money out there for that kind of stuff. It's crazy. I mean, right now, I don't know. But, you know, it, it'll get back to it. And even if not, it's one of those services where you can go to someone's house like you or you can have private clientele. Like you don't even have to work for a salon. You can keep safety in place. So nail tech. Yeah, because that's probably the quickest, right? Nail tech, I think. That's what my daughter did first. She did the quickest first. Then she did Estee. Then she did massage, you know. Then she started college, so. I take my hair and a ponytail and a <laughs> Okay. Well, you guys, I don't want this video to be too long because retention, YouTube, the retention rate, if people only watch a short time, then it just messes up your analytics and YouTube's just kind of funny about who they want to help. Like, it's a little brutal. Like, I appreciate YouTube and the platform that we have. But on the flip side, we are making free content for them. So they don't have to buy it to run their commercials. You know what I'm saying? Like television and cable does. But they are a little brutal with us. And I understand. That's their end of the business. That's their hustle. And they're on their game. They want to put the ads where it's going to work and build their reputation and get the advertising money. So I understand, but I just have to try to be careful and lives kind of dip into that. So <clears throat> um, I hope you guys will do me a favor. Spread the word. I want more subscribers. Spread the word of anybody you think would be interesting in thrifting, collecting, reselling, you know, or just saving money in general. Maybe share a video with them that you think they might like. Um, it always helps if you'll come back and leave a comment. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you just tell me about your day or tell me your dog's name or whatever. Just It always helps to leave a comment. So I, I appreciate it. Noel, that's a lot of listings. 1302. Like I'm just, it's just me now. I I would have to get help or something. Like I don't want to be. I I like knowing that at any point in time that I need to. Everything could be expanded. You know, like if my husband lost his job, God forbid, you know, he could jump in and we could expand. But everything's in place and I know what I'm doing. It could be scaled up instantly. But if I don't have to, I'm not going to because it's way more fun. Just, you know, I've got a household to run too and other things. So, all right, you guys. I will talk to you later. Please come back and leave a comment. I really appreciate it. It really helps. Remember, when I get my YouTube checks, I share a portion of it with you guys. You guys get a chance to get a portion. Ozark Picker one last time. So, all right, you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for chatting with me. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Sharon. Sorry, she just left another message. I didn't know that. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go. Love you all. Thank you so much. Ending stream. One, two, three.